Good afternoon, and welcome back. Uh, let's see. What happened today? Uh, let's see, I got my laundry done. That's not the only thing I did today. I just uh, had game three of the quarterfinals, and, well, let's see. Let's see. Chicago's now up 3-0 three on, three, three on Philly. I got Toronto up 2-1 on New York. The Rangers. This is 1971. Let's see, Montreal up 2-1 on Boston. I think... Oh, the thing is 2-1 St. Louis. I can't remember. No, 2-1 St. Louis. On Minnesota. Dude, I'm sweating. Just came back from Mr. Mike's. I haven't had lunch there in a while. I was like... It's actually quite a nice one out there today. Actually, there's quite a nice one out there today. Even my server, Peyton, is like, yeah, it looks nice. I was like, oh, it is. Made for a nice walk. Yeah, to there and then made for a nice walk home. I ended up stopping at the Valley Village. Looked at the DVD section, found a movie that I have in storage. As I, first off, I don't know when, if or when I'm ever going to get to my stuff in storage in Edmonton. I ended up picking up hook. I in town watching it on the Thanksgiving long weekend. So why then? Well, the first time I watched it was in 1992, during the Thanksgiving long weekend. So it's kind of a bit of a Thanksgiving tradition. Along with the episode "Turkeys Away" from the original WKRP in Cincinnati. As God is my witness, I thought turkeys could fly. Turkeys are hitting the ground like sacks of wet cement. Ah, uh, yeah, the shenanigans that happen on that show, holy crap. Herb Tarlick and his loud plaid suits and the belt to match his shoes. If he had white shoes on, he had to have a white belt on. Because uh, that was the late 70s, early, early, early 80s. Herb trying to make a fashion statement. Les Nesman and his Silver Sour Awards. Jen the tape where walls would be. And as he's using stipulation again. Treat this like an office. Again. Everybody else obliged him. Uh, Andy Travis being the straight man out of all of it. Jennifer Marlowe, the receptionist. I mean, come on, there's Lonnie Anderson. Of course, I kind of had a thing for Bailey Quarters. Jan Smithers. So, uh, yeah. That's how that went. I'm missing some of you. Oh, yeah, Dr. Johnny Fever. I meant, my, not sure if I mentioned him. Dr. Johnny Fever. Yeah, um. I try not to have ideas. They lead to complications. Then Venus flytrap. Uh, the evening guy who's right to have his gong in the... I always try to have a day with him in the booth. And then there was one time... I mean, I actually did have a day with him. And then Andy crashed it. And Are those gherkins? Yeah, I don't remember which episode that was, but yeah, the Turkeys Away uh, episode was probably one of the more memorable ones. Ah. They tried to uh, do a new WKRP in the early 90s. 91, 92, and I think in the 92, 93 TV seasons. Didn't do as well. I don't know what else to say about that, but didn't do as well. But I think I should do some clues. Where the heck did yesterday's clue go? I think I buried it somewhere. There it is. Yesterday's double jeopardy category was the arts for 1200. Answer Irato, the muse of love poetry, is depicted holding this harp like instrument. Honestly, I have no idea. What is a liar? L-Y-R-E. 
I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. Liar. I. I. If somebody knows, let me know in the comments. Uh, and to round out the double jeopardy category, the arts for 2000. Answer. Denzel Washington arrived on Broadway as Hickey in a 2018 revival of this drama by Eugene O'Neill. I have no idea. And a heads up, tomorrow's final Jeopardy category, celebrations. Ooh, what will we be, what will what will we be celebrating tomorrow? A clue. Yeah, that's it. A clue. Actually, I got no idea. So, anyways, actually, it's kind of nice to get outside. Yeah, my back's still kind of half crabby from mostly from the laundry. It does that every week. Although I shouldn't complain. What was it, Mr. Mike's, my server, Peyton? It was kind of a little busy. But it was manageable. For, she was just over here dealing with getting my drink. She was over there helping another table. Then she's somewhere else helping another table. Then she's over somewhere else cleaning a table because somebody had left. If you ever go to a restaurant, be nice to your service. Just be nice to your service and tip them. Definitely be nice to your service, though. There's my public service announcement. On that note, in the meantime, and in between time, stay tuned for the next one.